Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, we are at Mass. Here we participate in the miraculous change of bread and wine into the body and blood of our Savior Jesus Christ. This is a change for which we thank God with all our hearts. But we've all experienced other changes, changes that bring deterioration. After a while, machines, cars don't work well or they stop working altogether. The job or position that we thought would be a stable source of security suddenly vanishes. Even our very own bodies don't last forever. They age and uh, they carry the burdens of illness and eventually they deteriorate in death. In this transitory and impermanent world, our faith tells us that something does last forever. St. Paul in the second reading sings a great hymn of praise to charity, to love. He proclaims, love never fails. Love is the very life of God. The first letter of St. John says, God is love. And since genuine love is of God, it cannot fail. That unfailing love comes to us in the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. That unfailing love by the power of the Holy Spirit forms us as a church, a communion of love. We are in relationship to each other and we love or ought to love one another. Even more, we are the effective sign of God's love in the world. Even when, like the prophet Jeremiah in the first reading or like Jesus in today's gospel, we offer a challenging word that isn't always welcome. But we cannot stop being God's love in this world without losing our very identity as the body of Christ and the communion of the Holy Spirit. Our words and our lives proclaim, love never fails. God's love endures forever. Dear brothers and sisters, how exactly do we share the enduring an encouraging word that love never fails. The sharing certainly begins in our families and radiates outwards into our workplaces, our schools, our communities, our nation and our world as we try to be faithful to Christ in all circumstances. Our expression of enduring love, love that never fails, takes special shape in and through the works and ministries of our archdiocese. This year's annual Catholic appeal takes up this theme from the gospel, love never fails. The works of the archdiocese supported by the annual Catholic appeal express and foster the love that binds us together through our faith in Jesus Christ and the working of the Holy Spirit among us. As you know, in the archdiocese of Chicago, the annual Catholic appeal sustains Catholic schools, parishes, programs of religious education and formation of ministers, lay and clerical, initiatives to foster respect for life and to make the world more just, more peaceful, more loving. As our Archdiocesan pastoral plan called Reflecting Christ's Light unfolds across its second year, the year of Sunday Mass, the annual Catholic appeal supports efforts to pass on the treasures of the Catholic faith to a new generation of believers and to make Sunday Mass the center of our lives in faith and love. Beyond the Archdiocese, through its support of the Church's universal charities, the appeal lovingly serves people in need worldwide without regard for religious affiliation, whose lives are devastated by illness, wars and famines and by natural disasters. Every element of our mission, every one of our efforts reflects our life encapsulated in God's enduring love love that never fails. In a very short while, you will celebrate the Eucharistic prayer. You will encounter the living Christ who in enduring love died and rose for us. This is my body given up for you. This is my blood poured out for you. Here we learn and we know that love never fails. Here we learn and we know who we are holy instruments of God's unfailing love in the world. Here we recognize again that everything passes away except the relationships created by love. 
Dear sisters and brothers, in your own expression of love, be generous as Christ has been generous to us. Please join me again in making a generous gift to the annual Catholic Appeal this year. I am grateful for your witness. Your faith and your generosity inspire me. I thank God for you and I pray to God for you. Please pray for me.